in St. Petersburg. This was happening. Demo. Well, this is Covert Ops, Nuclear Dawn, a name that I can only remember the name of, that because I have it written down right in front of me. It's one of the most generic names I've heard before. It is a third-person shooter action thriller game that came out on the PlayStation 1 in the year 2000, so pretty late-life PS1 game. Um, this game had another name outside of North America. It was called Chase the Express, because it takes place on a train. I don't know if that name is great, but it's better than Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn, which is what we're playing here. We're going to start a new game. A rookie, normal, or expert? Look, I'm not, I'm not putting on airs. I don't know how to play this game. But we're going to be trying it out for an hour, uh, and we're going to see what it's like on Rookie. I never thought we'd be teaming up with the Russians. I bet the Russians are saying the same thing about us. We're almost at the Ukrainian border. All right, let's go in and give it a try. Yes, sir. This little button will blow all those stupid soldiers to hell. Oh, no. Someone's got a button. Stand by for the first attack. We have four unidentified incoming choppers. Are those Russian backup troops? Negative. We haven't received any reports like that. They're launching their missiles! Three missiles at seven o'clock! What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Stand by for the second launch! Party time! Let's go! Move it! Move out! Move out! Get the ambassador out of here! Wait! My family is still out there! Hurry up! Hurry and get dressed, now! Mr. Ambassador, as you can see, you have no choice. And your wife's life means nothing to me. Mama! <gasps> you had better realize this. Understand? Leave my family alone! How do you do, Mr. Ambassador? I am Boris Zagorski, the leader of our little band of terrorists called the Knights of the Apocalypse. Knights of the Apocalypse? What do you want? I am planning to use this train to obtain funds for our activities. What are you talking about? You're going to pay for this. Be quiet and listen. I'm in charge here. Papa! No, Mr. Ambassador. You are mistaken. It is your government that is going to pay. Twenty billion dollars. And I brought this little toy with me to convince you. Attention, French government. We, the Knights of the Apocalypse, are now approaching your border. Well, we're just getting right into it. Not wasting any time. And really, I mean, would a country really pay $20 billion to get their ambassador back? I don't know. It's not even like the president or anything. This is Lieutenant Jack Morton. The a good action name. By terrorists in a sudden attack. We're aware of that. Lieutenant Morton? 
The circuit you're using now is connected to the UN International Counterterrorism Organization. I am the commander of that organization's headquarters. Is that clear? How many of your units survived the attack? None! Only me! Here's the plan. As it stands now, the Blue Harvest has been captured by an armed terrorist group called the Knights of the Apocalypse. They're demanding $20 billion and safe rail passage to France as ransom for the French ambassador. I'm dispatching a rescue team now. Lieutenant Morton, you will be under UN command. The French ambassador and his family are being held hostage. You are to make sure they're safe until the rescue team arrives. Report immediately when you've accomplished this. Roger! The terrorist might intercept our transmissions. Limit your radio use to emergency rescue requests. Any questions? How do we get in the train? There's a hatch on the roof of car 11. Roger! Jack, stay alert. All right, we're Jack Morton. He's the only one left. We're playing. Okay. Walking forward. I'm running now. I don't... Oh, hold on. It's telling me to, to jump. Jack Morton never misses. So just these enemy deaths are so dramatic. Yeah, that's where we are. Right, we're in the train. Don't know how much searching I have to do in any of these rooms. Is that is it the kind of game where you where you're doing that, or are we just going from room to room shooting? Not entirely sure yet how this really goes. Okay, we can go there. Okay, I'm getting a prompt to. S oh, I can can't go through, but I can look. Doesn't seem like there's anything to look at. We, so we can peep if there is a window. All right, so there are uh, multiple ways to go. Sure, I'll pick it up. All right, so you don't get a prompt for everything. I'm not getting a prompt to uh, look at these guys. Is there something on the wall there? He was shot in the chest. That's not a door. This is a door. Can't go through the door. I can peep through the door. So peeping not really useful as of yet. I'm sure that would... Didn't mean to press... Shouldn't have pressed that. I'm sure it'll come in useful at some point. So as you can probably see, this plays like... Well, it's not... A, I don't think it's going to be a survival horror game, but it kind of looks like it and plays like it. But it does seem like it's probably going to be more action-based. But it does, it does have tank controls. Ooh, the restroom. Nothing for us here, though. Need a key card to do that. Yep, that's St. Petersburg. That's where we are. I'll take it. Let's get a... Just a sink, nothing... In, let's get a good look at Jack Morton. You know, as far as PS1 goes, it's a good-looking model. It's quite impressive for the system.
Nothing unusual. Thought I would be able to interact with that because it's like animating a little bit, but I guess not. I guess it's just a window. Or like a vent or something? Nothing useful. Time to get, well, col colorful bottles. Jack Morton is not going to drink on the job. It's way too important. Uh, looks like something's been removed. Let's just keep in mind that there's something that should go there. What? Maybe we don't really know. But there's something that could go there. Let's look at the map. So it occurs to me the map should be very simple, right? It's a train. Like, how, could it be more complicated than just rectangles? Like, there's a bunch of them. And there is an outside map. But yeah, it really can't be more... Co Whoop. That's not the button I want to press. Want to run. Not shoot. Dead end. Only a garbage can here. What a weird what a weird thing for a train car to have a dead end. I mean, I guess it's the second floor, so maybe the next maybe you can't go from one car to the next on the second floor. You got to go down to the first. I guess that would make sense. They probably wouldn't be connected at the second. St. Petersburg. I assume this train must uh, move on as the game goes on, which is why it keeps telling us what our location is in those loading screens. So many bathrooms on this train. So luxurious. I saw a blinking. Items can... Oh, this is an item box? I don't really need to do that now, but I guess we should remember... This game has, I guess, a Resident Evil item box. Dramatic music. Is he coming this- uh, Mind if I don't want to walk out in front of him. Oh no, he, I hear him going away. Comes back. Okay. Well, now the camera's in a position where I can. I can see him coming. He's not going to come all the way up here, though. Is that a note? Is that a journal? I want to read it. The lift in the kitchen broke down again. I looked at the unit and noticed it had a faulty connection. I had to experiment with it some more, but I should be able to fix it. This is the cook. Why are you fixing the lift? Surely you have a technician on this train. Some bunk beds. Looks like the bed hasn't been used. Alright, so if I go out, can I tell where that guy is? Or do I have to just step out? wonder if it- does he move when I am in that room? 
Because if he is moving around, would there be any way for me to know where he is at the moment? Is there any reason not to just shoot him? No, I guess not. <laughs> Do I want to take the unit? Sure. Why wouldn't I want to pick up the unit? Anything else on that? No. All right. Could be a little bit more descriptive with this. I want to check the unit. It says lift unit. Oh, this is probably the thing that goes in the, like the in the hole in the wall. It said there's something missing. That's probably what this is. That's not. I didn't mean to press that. Did not mean to do that. I keep doing that. See, in, in Resident Evil games, you press, like, the R bumper to aim. In this one, you go to one knee when you do that. L bumper is 180. Okay, the triggers... Well, L2, R2, R roll. He's really good at it. He's really agile. the VIP room deck. Nothing unusual. Do not have the key card for this. Guess I can't move on up here. Let's head back to that bar where the hole in the wall was and see if I can plug my unit in. I like how dramatic and bombastic the music was in the intro and now we're just at a completely different tone St. Petersburg. It was up here. Yeah, that. Let's see if I can put my unit in. Unit goes in. Something is coming up from below. There we go. What? Hey. Lift is working. I'm going to shove myself in this dumbwaiter. Eat it, suckers. I'm taking the easy way down. Power switch. I'm going to turn it on. Oh, man. Who's going to clean this up? What a waste. Look at those little carrots. Uh, is that what they are? Maybe not. Look at little orange things. Someone's been dragged. <laughs> it's a very cinematic zoom in. RTG. Yep, let's pick that up. So they killed the cook and dragged him in here, huh? Press X to use it. 
right, so will this card key work on the... Whoop, someone's here. And we are a crack shot. Doesn't matter if he had an automatic weapon and we just have a... a handgun. Will the, as I was saying, will this key card work on the locks that we've been seeing? Or... Are there different key cards? We won't know until we try. Can we go this way? No, that's the power switch, yeah. yeah can I use this again? Maybe not. Okay, I, I can unlock that. So I don't need to use the, the dumbwaiter. Was there one up here on the VIP floor? I need a key card. It said I could... Do I need to equip it, perhaps? Okay, no, just use it. There we go. It opened. Let's check out how they do it on the VIP floor. Pierre Simon, 53, French ambassador to Russia, former secretary of the old Gaullist party, passengers in VIP car. Catherine Simon, 45, ambassador's wife, Jane Simon, 11, ambassador's daughter. Philip Mason, 39, Ambassador Secretary, Translator for previous French Ambassador. Henri Riviere, 40, Ambassador's SP, former trainer for the French Foreign Legion. Christina Wayborn, 25, Ambassador's SP, former Olympic shooting team member. Jan Bell, 35, Ambassador's SP from the Army Special Forces. Jules Ringo, 29, Ambassador's SP. Rook Val, 52, Ambassador's SP from the French Metro Metropolitan Police. Alright, so that's the group we saw with the Ambassador in the intro scene. Nothing useful. Do, like, Olympic target shooters get hired as elite bodyguards? I'm not actually sure if that's a career path you take. Ah, this is not a key card. We need a combination. We're really moving. for the SP. Can't open them. Memo. I love memos. Oh, am I not going to read the memo? I picked it up without reading the memo. I want to read this memo. It says 1742. I'll put it in the file. 1742. Anything else? Is there something on that table? Doesn't seem so. I didn't mean to do that. Go to the door. Hello. I'm gonna tell Jack Morton to freeze. Come on. Tasteful paintings. Nothing unusual here. Jack Morton has opinions about artwork. Pierre Simon, French ambassador to Russia. 
due to, her, to a request to the NATO military, we would like you to travel on the Blue Harvest to Paris and be responsible for the cargo on board. For PR reasons, we would like you to have your family travel with you. Please have a safe and pleasant journey on the train. As a sign of peace, Russia is returning 250 pieces of art, which were confiscated from Germany at the end of World War II. Awaiting your safe return with the artwork, Jean P. Mondino, president of France. He was travel. Okay, the ambassador is traveling with stolen artwork. There are many history, political science, and economics books here. Nothing useful. Yes, that's how I'd like to. T that's how I'd like to uh, spend my my time traveling on the luxury train is reading about political science theory. Fascinating. Hmm, these must be photos of the ambassador's family. They seem to be in Moscow's Red Square. As he would be since he was the French ambassador to Russia. Nice oil painting. Nothing unusual here. Cutscene door. That's right. Jack Morton doesn't hesitate. Ambassador, are you all right? I think so. Who are you? Lieutenant Jack Morton of NATO, sir. I was sent here to rescue you. Oh, thank God. They took my family away. My wife and daughter. Do you know where they took them? The terrorists were talking about taking them and one SP to the rear car. And who are you? My name is Mason. I'm the ambassador's secretary. I've also been in the military and SP service. I see. Mr. Ambassador, a rescue team is coming, but I'll try to rescue your family myself. Ambassador and Mr. Mason, you'd better stay right here and wait until you hear from me. All right, got to head to the back of the train to find that family. Hard key B. Wow, they only had one guy here guarding the ambassador. Well, one guy here and then one guy in the previous room. I think there would be more, uh, more guards. A bathtub. I would absolutely love to take a hot bath right now. Nothing strange. Did I just fog up the mirror? What, do I have to put something on the mirror and then fog it up? I don't think I have anything that I would, like, smear on the mirror. I guess let's just keep that in mind. Hmm. A five-sided piece was peeled off. I guess let's keep a lookout for a Pentagon. We know where it goes. There's you know, something that occurs to me. I just want to check something. Oh, we got Codex. I was just about to say, have they said how to save in this game? Does that come up? I guess nothing to say right now. Oh, hello. Colonel. Lieutenant Morton, please report. Morton here. Ambassador is safe. His secretary is with him. Rescue's on the way. ETA in 10 minutes. Wow, short game. Roger, I'm heading for the back of the train. The ambassador's family should be back there. Roger, and good luck, Lieutenant. I will guard the ambassador with my life. Thank you. All right. I got a different key card. His throat was cut. That's a real, like, up-close-and-personal kind of, kind of death. 
And this is this is where I came in. See if there's anything further down here. Oh no no, that's where I got the combination, and then came back and opened this. So I'm probably done with this area. Oh, we're, we're we we advanced. We're not in St. Petersburg anymore. Check something. The map. So when I hit left, the number goes down. Should I then assume heading to the right is heading towards the back of the train? Car 15 is the last one listed here. We're in 10. I assume we're going to try to get to 15. wasn't another way out. Was there somewhere? Yeah, there were, I could keep going this way, I think. Uh, he, uh, we couldn't advance past this. That's right. But... What about now? Yes, indeed. Hmm? I'm facing the other direction now. That's kind of an odd decision to do with the camera. Okay, now I'm facing the right. Anyone down there? There is someone down there. Let's try upstairs for right now. That first aid kit. Shot to death. 12R01. Doesn't say there's like a keyhole or anything. But maybe we can find a key for it. Hmm? couple dudes here. Oh, is he, like, walking around this direction? Is he gonna... Whoop. What? There's no one here. What are you talking about? What? There's no one here. Look, if I have a gun and I tell you there's no one here. I think that is quite generous of me. That's your chance to, like, not walk towards me. I think I was more than fair. Ooh. An M.O. disc. Early Resident Evils love their M.O. discs. Computer startup disk. So can I look at anything here? The train's integrated computer. Ah, no, nothing else. I just got the disk. We'll see how we can use that disk as we go. Maybe. Who knows when we'll actually have the chance to use it. What is this room? What room on the train is this? The following is a list of terrorists that have been active in recent years. Andre Mikhalkov, shot an army officer in 1998, is hiding in southern Europe. Note, holds Russian and British passports. Ibram Shim, in 1999, attempted to kidnap a Russian nuclear engineer. Note, wanted by CIA. Boris Sagoski, active in supplying arms to insurgents in S-Europe, and the M-East. Note, 
former KGB agent. Kane Wozniak has twice penetrated the U.S. strategic defense system. No, in exile in Cuba. Hiroki Kusaka, 1989, bombed Hong Kong Art Gallery and Bank. Note, wanted by CIA. Nikita Andropov, 1997 Minsk, Minsk Mass Airport Massacre, 1999 Weapon Smuggling, NB, ex-Ukrainian Army. Vincent Rosa has killed 264 people in the past 23 months in five countries hiding in Europe. Wow, the body count on this man. I'm still not clear on what kind of room this is on a train. Sorry. December 24th, depart St. Petersburg. December 25th, Minsk. Visit Nuclear Medicine Center, December 26th, Warsaw. Visit UN Orphanage, December 27th, Berlin. Speech of Remains of Berlin Wall, December 28th, Leipzig. Music Performance in St. Thomas Church, December 29th, Frankfurt. Day off, sightseeing with family. December 30th, Geneva. Visit the Euro Electronic Commodity Exchange, December 31st, Zurich. Speech at UN Center, January 1st, Paris. Reception party. All right, so I guess this is our travel plan. We uh, departed St. Petersburg. We're on our way to Minsk. I wonder if we actually reach all these places throughout the course of the game, ending in Paris. Communications terminal. There's a slot for a disc. Why? I have a disc! How about that? Enter room number. Oh, I forget what the number was. Well, oh, sorry. I don't know why I keep pressing that. My thumb just kind of falls on it. Well, you know, I'm giving the morning shots. They know to back off when they hear me coming. Jack Morton doesn't sneak around. Jack Morton advertises his presence. Okay, the door's right here. 12 R 01. Jack Morton runs back muttering 12 R 01, 12 R 01, 12 R 01, 12 R 01, 12 R 01. 12 R 01, 12 R 01, 12 R 01. 12 R 01, 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 12 R 01. 12 R 01, 12 R 01. 12 R 01. 12 R 01. Twelve R one. Twelve R O one. Actually, that was on the screen, wasn't it? It just listed right there. Well, we had to get visual confirmation. It's just good practice. Lieutenant Jack Morton of NATO, and who are you? Christina Wayborn, the French ambassador's agent. Are you with the special police? Is it supposed to be a job only for men? <laughs> no, not at all. Good work. Where are they holding the ambassador's family? Mrs. Simon and their daughter Jane were taken to car number 13. I was kept here to be executed. You said car 13? The ambassador's in car 10. His secretary, Mason, is guarding him, but it's still not safe. Go up there and stay with them. All right, but I wish I had a radio to communicate with you. Here, use this. Thanks, and good luck, Lieutenant Morton. Call me Jack. Okay. <laughs> 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 
can sense the magnetism between these two. I guess that was our Olympic shooter turned special bodyguard. I, too, when I meet people, uh, I say, what, did you think this was a job only a man could do? And then take my jacket off, revealing my tank top. And people are kind of confused as to what I'm doing. Report from Washington. Domestic strife and revolution are continuing around the world. As a response to the endless stream of refugees, the U.S., Russia, and other NATO countries have developed a high-speed transcontinental train. Oh, right, like in Killer7. Called the Blue Harvest. It is designed for the fast evacuation of refugees and speedy transportation of medical supplies. I don't know. I'm looking at this train. It seems pretty glitzy. I don't think this is meant for, like, refugees. I don't... Not the impression I'm getting, anyway. It seems like it's real fancy for, like, the fancy people. Anyway, that's what this train is for. It's a really fast train that's meant to move refugees really fast. A card writer? I can rewrite cards. All right. Just any card? If I stick this card in, can I? what can I do with it? Rewrite? Sure. It won't work with that. All right. Oh, not that. I do have my blue card. How about this? Finished. Yes. Okay. What did... Can we get any indication as to what that did? It's rewritten card key. It, it's rewritten the card key. What is it rewritten it to? We don't know. We just stuck it in and said, yes, I want to rewrite this. And... and it, it did. One shot in the heart. She can shoot all right. Uh, I guess I'm probably done with this section, then. Go downstairs. There was someone... Down th okay, good. The camera was not cameraing for a second there. How far does he come up? Pretty far. Like, almost right up to me. Hello. That roll did not work quite as well as I was hoping. A lot of ambient sound in the gameplay. I feel like, I don't know, it's just, it just maybe needs like a little bit of music happening, except, you know, maybe just a little bit more, you know, melody happening. I don't know. Like the, the intro of the game, again, was really bombastic, and most of the game so far has been really quiet. Just quiet ambient sound. Very relaxing. Dear Diary. Okay, Billy sits down and writes, Dear Diary, today I have lost my bulletproof vest. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find it. I hope nobody finds it before me or I'll be in big trouble. December 24th. Oh man, Billy, you're up shit creek now. Hopefully no one finds that. Billy will be in such trouble. The door, door to car 10 is broken, and they say 
that we're scheduled to depart tomorrow. Okay, car 10. We'll have to use the external hatch, but still access to car 9 is very inconvenient. I also noticed that the guards in car 5 are armed. What's going on with this train? Dan Hogarth. What is in car 10? Well, no, we've been from... That's where we were. That's where we started from. We're in car 12 by now. The, uh... The terrorists deliberately cut off access. The, the guards were armed. Some of them were in on it. No smoking. Turn water off after use. Handle the lockers with care. Just a sink. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Oh, take a nice shower. It's still dripping. Someone just used it. Oh, hello. That's a nice that's a nice little little moment. Someone just used this shower. And he tried to knife us. About to say, is someone else going to come out? No, does not seem so. Need a car key for key for this is the one that I rewrote. Will that work? Mm hmm. I guess if I didn't rewrite that, then it would tell me that I couldn't use it here. Oh, cutscene door. We're in Minsk. One close range shotgun blast. Try going upstairs. Hello, everyone. Hey, they're crouching. I mean, I guess I can do that. All right, this is your last chance. Well, maybe I'll just go exploring. They thought they could outshoot Jack Morton. They know better now. It's an email. Default passcodes for each room are set to the date of the train's departure. Refer to the manual to change the passcodes. Right, we're going to need passcodes. Can't seem to look at what's on the table. what's on this board. After the end of the Cold War, many thought that the world would live in peace and harmony. However, the many differences between religions, governments, and cultures caused friction in the new world. What, really? 
that we didn't have world peace after the Cold War. But that's that's not what they said what would happen. They said we were at the end of history. The US won. That's that's what that's what was happening, right? It's locked. Ah, I do not have the passcode. stairs that go down. Anything else up here? No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Must have been a senior officer. Too dark to see. Do I have to turn the lights on? Is there something in here I should get, but I can't tell because the lights are off? The bath water is dark with blood. Should I reach in and pull the plug? I think Jack Jack Morton's afraid of a bathtub. Something in the tub. Grab it. Yes. He picked up the special key. It says O nine H on the back. So by taking those stairs, did we just, like, pass by all of these doors? <laughs> Currency guide. With the birth of the euro in 1999, EU co uh, countries took a major step forward in uniting. However, optimism about the EU was weakened by major powers not joining the EU, difference between member economies. As more and more Eastern European nations joined the Union, talks about foreign affairs between the East and West will be necessary. It has been argued, however, that such integration could destroy the individual country cu cultures of the countries involved. Standard military bunk, probably in NCO's room. We're unlocked. It's too dangerous to go out now. What's going on in there? Not that. That's a map. So, car 14. What's happening in there? We need to get to car 15, and the only way to do that is through car 14. There's one of these boxes. Oh, okay. There is a save option at the box. I was wondering... <laughs> when that was going to appear. Save failed? Oh, no! Did, is, is, uh, do I not have a memory card, a virtual memory card set up? I do not know. That just makes Jack Morton's mission even more urgent. Hmm... So, is... There's, the window is broken, and there is smoke coming out. So, is there, like, a fire happening on the next... The next one? Hmm. Okay, there is one room up here that I haven't gone into, but it needs a passcode. And there was an email that mentioned that 
passcodes. It mentioned something about passcodes. Can I access my the documents? Yeah. What did it say about that? Um. No, not that. Not that. Is it not, do I not have the one that... The, the email? I mean, I guess I could go back to that computer. Did that not get saved as a, uh, as a file, maybe? The computer's over here. Yeah, it's not a file. Default passcodes for each room are set to the date of the train's departure. Okay, so... If we want to... Let's look at the files and see the date of the train's departure. Because that was in the file. The schedule? Yeah, December 24th. So, 1224? Should be a passcode? There we go. Jack Morton walks in and starts shooting straight ahead for a few seconds before finally turning to shoot the man who was shooting at him. Jack Morton just wanted to give him some warning shots. Again, he is very fair. He's shooting, he's missing deliberately saying, look, this is what's going to happen to you. All right listen. Senior officer's desk. Nothing here looks useful. Start. The Special Tactical Arms Reduction Treaty was an agreement between Russia and the U.S. to reduce the number of nuclear warheads by 3,000 within the next six years. Nuclear warheads? Come on, where's our, where's our cut to real video of nuclear warheads while we can talk over that? I'm Lieutenant Jack Morton. I came to rescue you. Your husband is safe, and a rescue team is coming. I understand. But my daughter... Yes? What's your name? Jane. It's all right now, Jane. You can see your father very soon. I promise you. You can run with your mother to the first floor, can't you? Uh-huh. All right, let's move. Don't worry, I'll cover you. Run straight to the first floor. Just, you know, if you see anyone who's armed, you can just run past them. It'll be fine. Okay, they're just controlling this automatically. This is Jack. The hostages are safe and secured. What's the situation now? The rescue team is scheduled to arrive there in five minutes. They will meet with you at car 14. After confirming the safety of car 14, you will guide in the helicopters. Until completion of the rescue operation, you will be under the command of the rescue team commander. And who is he? First Lieutenant Anderson. Now get moving. Please just wait here. I'll be right back. All right, we rescued... Well, we didn't... We found the wife and daughter, and we left them in an empty car. So, okay, that's this is what's happening in car 14. This message is from Lieutenant Anderson of Rescue Team A, encountering strong enemy resistance on car 14. Assistance requested. What car 14? Yeah, there's some real strong... Okay, no, there is. There is a car 14. It's just most of it is gone. 
it, was it blown up as part of this fight? Whoops, sorry, I'm in the fire. Sorry, sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, sir, hold on. There we go. Where are you guys coming from? This is Jack. You may proceed with the rescue operation. Roger. Jack, the ambassador is missing. I found his secretary unconscious in the VIP room. Calm down, Christina. Stay right there by Mason. After we get the ambassador's wife and daughter out, I'll come over. Roger. But is my, my husband? He'll catch up with you very soon. I promise you I'll rescue your father. So go ahead and wait for him. Oh, she's got the sherry at medallion. He said it was a good luck charm. Will you give it to him for me? I sure will. It doesn't have like the G virus in it or anything. This is Jack. We have an unexpected situation here. I need the rescue team back here right now. What happened? I don't know. I'm heading for the VIP room to find out. Sorry? Picked up the golden lamb pendant. What a nice day. Let's look at this thing we picked up. It's a good luck charm. Okay, it's not like part of our inventory. It's like in a special item place. All right. Well, the wife and daughter, we saved them. Jack Morton gets the job done. And it only took us an hour. And uh, with that, I guess that's 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 a pretty good place to end our hour tryout of Chase the Express. Um, I, I like its style. I do like its style. It's like I don't know. In the year two thousand. They decided to release a game that was a combination of Resident Evil and Metal Gear Solid. I mean, MGS came out, what, 1998? RE1, 1995. Uh, RE2 was... Was RE2 98? Might have been. So, like, like, after that, someone just really wanted to make a game that was sort of combining the two, maybe? I don't know. It's That's just, just what it feels like to me. Um, on a train, and, uh, it makes for a very simple map. I don't know if that is a good or a bad point. It's good in that it's easy to really get an, it's, it's easy to have an idea as to where you are and where you need to go. You're either going forward on the train or back on the train. So, not much map complexity here. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward <laughs> as to where you're going. Uh, Jack Morton is a pretty good standard, you know, vanilla action hero character. Um, he's already met, uh, the tough woman who you didn't think could, you didn't think a woman could do this job, but she can. Look at her tank top. Uh, he has already rescued the ambassador and the, well, the ambassador's still on the train, but the wife and daughter have been, are out of here? Um, but he still needs to find the nuke. There's a nuke on the train, and that seems, like, kind of important. So I guess Jack would now start making his way forward on the train to try to find that. Uh, but that has been our hour, and I, I did quite enjoy it. Um, that was all right. But the real question is, what did AI-generated rock think of this? And the answer is that AI-generated rock decided to put his Solid Snake cosplay on. Um, Solid uh, obviously, the, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, obviously, if they, you know, is the is the choice to be Solid Snake in an MGS movie. He's not. He's not. But I mean, we all know he should be. And even if he wasn't Snake, he should play a role in that. Yeah, that's our look at, I don't have the name, uh, it's Chase the Express, the English name, 
the American name, I think it's only North America, though, is so generic that I have trouble retaining it in my head. It is Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn? The last word's Dawn, right? I think it is. Um, which, I don't know, maybe that was a more appealing name in 2000. Uh, but today I find that that is, like, the only way to make that name more generic is if you put the word Origins in there somewhere. Or Revelations. Something to that effect. Uh, but I did it, even though I wasn't able to save. At the very least, Jack Morton got part of his job done. Wait, what exactly about this was a covert op? Nothing about this is covert. We're running around a train shooting at people and blowing stuff up. There's nothing covert about this operation. 